Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, negative 3 times the square root of 18 plus 3 times the square root of 8 minus the square root of 24. Well, if I wanted to simplify this, okay, what I want to do is I want to break down each one of these square roots and see if I can pull it into like its simplest form, basically. Okay, well, 18, I know that is 9 times 2, and I know the square root of 9 is 3, and I can simplify it that way. So I'm going to simplify this to be square root of uh, 9 times 2, like that. Okay, the 8, I know I can break down to be 4 uh, times 2. And the reason why I'm using 4 times 2 um, instead of like, I mean, it's not really 1 unless you do 8 and 1, right? Um, as the square root of 4 becomes 2, so I'm trying to find numbers that I can take the square root of when I break it apart here. So I have square root of 4 times 2. And then minus the same thing here with 24. Uh, I'm trying to think, okay, what can I break this down? If I break it down in any two numbers, can one of them I can easily take the square root of? And that's 4 and 6. So I have the square root of 4 times 6 there. Okay, so when I do this now, I know since it's multiplication between each one, I can separate that and have a square root each one individually and have multiplication separating them out. So we have negative 3 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 2 plus 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. Okay? So now we can take the square roots of everything, right, uh, that we, or that we can. It's nice and easy. So we have negative 3 times the square root of 9, which is 3, times the square root of 2. 3 times the square root of 4, which is 2, times the square root of 2, and then minus square root of 4, which is 2, times the square root of 6. Okay? Now, square root of 6 can break down to be 2 times 3, but it really can't simplify any more from there, so we're just going to leave it square root of 3 in simplest form there. Um, let's simplify some of these. Negative 3 times 3 is a negative 9, times the square root of 2, plus 3 times 2 is a 6, times the square root of 2, and then minus 2 uh, times the square root of 6. So now we have to add our like terms. Well, the only, or not like terms, sorry, I have better work then. Um, the ones we can combine is when the square roots are the same. And since we have the same square roots here, we can combine these two, and we look at their, uh, the numbers out in front of them. So negative 9 plus a 6 is a negative 3, and the square root of 2 comes down, so that we're combining these two. But since this one has a square root of 6, there's nothing else that has that. We see it separate, minus 2 times the square root of 6, and that's it. We have our final answer here of negative 3 square root of 2 minus 2 times the square root of 6. So let's recap here. We're given negative 3 times the square root of 18 plus 3 times the square root of 8 minus the square root of 24. What I did was see if I can break down each one of these square roots into simplest form, which I did uh, by here. Or kind of broke it up, broke it up here, and then we multiplied. Yeah, broke it out simplest form, the square root part, but then we multiplied them out, simplified to get the negative 9 times the square root of 2. 6 times the square root of 2 minus 2 times the square root of 6. From there, we can combine the ones with the square root of 2 because they're, um, they're the same there. Look at the numbers out front. Negative 9 plus 6 was negative 3. The square root of 2 comes down. This one with the square root of 6 can't change anything. It uh, doesn't combine anywhere. So that just comes down. And so again, my final answer here is negative 3 times the square root of 2 minus 2 times the square root of 6. 